a promise delivered to everyone you come in contact with. That's what a personal brand is. So, corporate brand promise delivered to stakeholders, personal brand promise delivered to everyone you come in contact with. And who is that? It's a lot of people. A lot of very, very diverse people. So, in the key table becomes, what do you promise to bring? What do you, Sarah's promise to bring? What do you, Sue, promise to bring? What do you, Michelle, promise to bring? Now, some of the best brands out there have had a personality. Richard Branson, we all know from Virgin, Southwest Airlines, he's kind of audacious and he's very a big risk taker and he's just kind of out there. And so that brand of the personality is infused throughout the entire corporate brand. Then you have our good friend Obama, who I think is trying to take the US government brand to be a little bit more thoughtful, reflective, and accessible as opposed to what the previous uh, George W. Bush did. Uh, how it's working, uh, well, I think it's working well with some people. And, Maybe not with other people. But here's an interesting thing to think about. We have multiple brands for multiple contacts. So in other words, the brand you have for your coworkers will be different from the brand you have for your suppliers versus the brand you have for, let's say, your family members. So your brand actually is a unique brand to each person. Now, I, I know Sue, and I know Sarah, for example, and, and I know Jimmy, and too, and I know Michelle. And the brand that I deliver to them is a little bit different. Now some parts are the same, but some parts are different. And again, the whole idea of personal brand is trying to enhance your connection or your relationship to all these different touch points. So let me talk a little more about how it's different. 